So I should probably show you where I'm staying. It's called the foreman's house. Um, and it's like a bunkhouse. And it obviously used to be the foreman's house who, the foreman who used to work this ranch, which is now the preserve. So it's got this really cool, uh, what is this called? I want one though. I really want it. It's like a courtyard. I want one when I grow up. Um, and over here is just parking lot and some tables for people to do research. Um, it's more like where researchers stay or any um, visitors or friends of the Tagus Prairie Preserve stay while they're here. So here's the living room. Um, and up here is a wonderful map of the Tallgrass Prairie. And I can show you where I'm working. Um, I was working about right there. I think, yeah, right, right there, and I went down this road, so I was like here and here, um, yeah, um, there's this beautiful back porch, it's got a screen, so the bugs don't bother you, and there are deer out there this morning, and cool birds, um, and this way is the men's half, the man half, so here's the guy's bathroom and here's their bunk beds so there's ten beds here and some closets my favorite is notice the sink here how it's a normal sink and then let me show you the girls so the girls is on the other side so we go back to the door we came in and here's the girls side there's only eight beds here because obviously when you're doing research there's more guys than girls. Um, that was sarcasm, not true. But look, here, the girls' bathroom. We got this lovely full counter so we can put all our makeup and hair accessories on it. Um, and a shower, which I will partake of. So yeah, wonderful. Um, there is also um, a kitchen and a fireplace. Doesn't look it's used though. Oh, it's gas, that's fine. Here's the kitchen. Oh, it's kind of dark in here already. There's lights. There's three fridges, um, some counter space, um, a range. There's another range in there. Microwave, very important. Um, and from this window, you can see the research station up there. And washer and dryer. So you do your clothes if you're staying up here for a long time, which some people do. Uh, luckily, I won't. I'll just be coming up on the weekends or whatever to do my research. So. That's all good. So that's where I'm staying. Um, it's a lot colder today, which is why I'm sitting in the truck to do this. Um, so goals today are to get the final sides in, and then get, um, I got some surveyor stakes, and I might stake out the other plots um, in two of the areas. They haven't been burned yet, and so I really don't want to put wood stakes out because I'm just screwing up, and I still don't know where. I'm. So. I still haven't solved the problem of getting through the rocks. Um, and that might be a problem. So, might. It is a problem. <laughs> um, so I gotta figure that one out. But I'll see you on the flip side. Now I gotta get out among all these bison and open this gate. Hey guys! What's up? Well, at least none of them are storming me, so that's good. Said Brandy, you're a fine girl. What a good wife you would be. But my love, my love, my lady, all the sea. The great thing about gravel roads is that they add vibrato. You don't even have to like do it. Just like ah. Okay, this is what I'm giving up on, mostly because it's drizzling on me.
But um, so here's my plot. So there's one in there. It runs up here. It runs over there. And then it runs down there. So what happens is we put the rainfall simulator on here, and um, and you can see my pretty face. Put the rainfall simulator on here, and then um, I'll dig a trough here at the bottom put like a gutter or pipe or something in there and all the water that runs off will end up in that pipe and then I collect it um, and I can see how much water runs off um, and uh, how much soil is coming with the water that runs off. Um, so this grass is all going to get burned um, and so I can, they're going to burn it and then I'll test it before the cattle come on and the cattle come on run on it all year summer long and then I'll come test it again after the cattle off and see if there's a difference. And then I'll test it again next winter before the cattle come on and see um, if it changes. Just any changes, basically. I don't know what kind of changes. It's raining again. So you want to see the problems with this? So here we go. Um, here's my rock that I thought, you know, was just right here. But when you go down, it actually goes in an angle like that. So this is just sitting on the rock. So it's not really secure in the soil, really, at all. See how it wiggles? Um, I silicone the holes here, which, in hindsight, I should probably do flat so that the silicone's not like dripping down while I'm trying to silicone the side. Um, this guy's not in as well as I want him to be either. He is secure though because I put a pin here and a pin over on the other side. Um, yeah, just look at look at the huge rock there. There's rocks there. This is all bedrock. So, I don't know how I'm going to do if I hit the bedrock. Oh my god, it's really raining. And I'm going to go back to the truck and maybe finish it there. I guess we okay. weren't kidding about that 20% rain. So, okie dokie then. Um, so that's what I did this weekend. So now I think I'm going to go back. Um, there are some other things I could do. Um, oh, I'm going to debate. I wonder at the joy that they found. Cut. Just leave this one alone. Cut. I was bad with the bone. This one's called X ray. I don't know how it looks, but I think it goes well with this on. Bad. on the main road because I don't want to drive on the side roads when it's wet and all muddy. Um, so that's the conclusion of my adventure unless you know I, I don't know get in an accident or hit a deer on the way home but hopefully not. Um, so I have on my fingers. That's good. Um, I have on my toes. Uh, the only casualty was, can you see this? Was my pants. Look at that. Um, when I was shoving the shovel into the ground I ended up ripping my pants off but other than that it's all good so that concludes my adventure um <coughs> excuse me reading it on um, fame tame or shame I would have to say uh, between tame and fame um, Nothing too exciting happened, uh, but I did get a good workout, and I still have a lot of problems to solve, so that's why I don't think I deserve fame. And yeah, I look forward to seeing your adventure, Tyler. I hope you had a great time in Chicago. Bye. Well, that was fun, and I just got my shower done, so I'm back to normal. Um, there's a couple things that I wanted to tell you that I thought about uh, after I got home. First of all, I met a for real truly breathing, had a little mustache, Joe Bob Briggs. He was in charge of the maintenance at the Tallgrass Prairie Preserve, and I was asking about, like, what kind of water source can I use to make it rain on my plots? And um, the guy in charge, Mr. Hamilton, was like, oh, go talk to Joe Bob. And I was like, Joe Bob? And I went and I met him, and I would have taken video, except that 
I didn't really want to be like, hey, look at me holding the camera. Like, hi, my name's Bo, and I'm videotaping you the first time we meet. So, but I want to let you know that there's a guy out there who is named Joe Bob. Has a lovely little Fu Manchu kind of mustache, and he's pretty awesome. Second, while I was waiting for Joe Bob to show up, um, I went over to the visitor center, and they were open, and there was a guy running it who is an ex-journalist. Like, he's kind of old. So right now he just kind of writes novel, like, not novels, uh, books. And... <laughs> Uh, I told him I was there for research, and he goes, oh, so are you a freshman? And I was like, no, I'm a grad student. And he's like, oh, okay, I wasn't sure. So the point is, someone thought I was 18 slash 19 years old. That's right. I win. I hope I stay this young forever. A little happy dance. So yeah, that's the two points I had. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there's not a lot of dancing or shenanigans or anything in it, but it was definitely a work weekend. Um, and I did what I could. So hopefully next time it will be better.